Hello everyone! In the first part, I showed you the hair, clothing, objects, and rooms. And in this one, I'll be showing you Granite Falls, the new place your sims can visit, some interactions and activities and other things. And also, the Hermit Secret Neighborhood, which is, of course, a secret place your sims can visit. If you'd like to get this game pack, I'll have a link to where you can get it on Origin in the description. There will be a link to the patch notes because an update came out at the same time and it's, it's always fun to read those. And I'll also have a link to the first part in case you missed it and you wanted to watch it you don't have to watch it don't worry about it and yeah if you're interested in hearing more about granite balls and interactions and the secret place then feel free to keep on watching I'll start off by having my family travel and you want to make sure you have maybe a few thousand simoleons because there are places that you can rent and also some supplies you might want just in case they don't have the supplies that you want or need at the place that you're going to stay at so all you have to do is click on the phone go to travel and you can either go on vacation which will be by yourself or go on vacation with choose the people that you want to go on vacation with I've heard that it's like only people you're friends with or family members but I haven't tested it out with just strangers or anything but here is Granite Falls this is what it looks like there are five places your sims can stay at and one you can visit first one is the campground which will be a hundred and eleven simoleons per day you can stay from one to seven days the next one is is Lakeside Retreat for 893 simoleons per day. That's a lot. But this one is really nice and it's so big on the inside and it has all this cool stuff in it. The third one is the Forest Hideaway for 635 simoleons per day. This one is also pretty big. I think this one and the last one were the biggest ones and then the other ones were sort of smaller but they all have like the necessities, you know. Riverside Retreat, 282 simoleons per day for this lovely red and brown house and it has that shower right there which is actually an outdoor shower so your sims can shower outdoor no problem green getaway 397 simoleons per day right here and this is the last one your sims can vacation at so there are four of them are houses one of them is an empty lot so you might want to bring some travel supplies or you could get them from the ranger station and that is just a place that we will visit in a moment so once you go and choose the one you want you can rent for up to seven days if you want Wanted to. So it's just one to seven. You can stay there an entire week and it'll be super fun and it can be pretty costly. So that's why I suggest bringing some money, some extra money, saving up or just immediately go after you create your family and vacation because there's nothing wrong with that. It's so much fun and you have like a bunch of money when you start off anyway. So totally do that if you want to. I'm just showing you what the Granite Falls place looks like. It's it's a pretty big place your sims can visit. There's a bunch of fishing spots, all these little water areas. It looks so lovely. There's a whole bunch of waterfalls in this entire area and here in the secret neighborhood and the place that you go to to even get to the secret neighborhood. It's, it's pretty amazing. And then here's the very center of it. And in the center, there's the Stanley Ranger Jackalope statue. <laughs> it's so big. You can have your outdoor sims appreciate it or you can have your child sims or childish sims talk to it they can talk to it for a while and it's so cool that you can interact with this like big statue in the center of granite falls off to the side you have the rabbit hole bathroom you can use the bathroom or take a shower in it for 10 simoleons <laughs> which could cost end up costing you a lot if you have a whole bunch of family members and they go out and do things that'll get them you know kind of dirty <laughs> there's the ranger station and actually when you come to Granite Falls, a ranger greets you. It'll say, hello friends, I'm, insert ranger name here. <laughs> Mine is Cornelius, your friendly forest ranger. I'm chock full of camping knowledge, so if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. There's a few different things you could do at the ranger station, like buy supplies, and this is good in case you didn't stock up before you left. You can buy beds here, tents, there's even collectibles, like fruits and vegetables that you can take home and plant or just snack on while you're here. There there are books even, there's campfires, there's guitars in case you 
forgot a guitar and you wanted to sing some campfire songs and it's just a great place to come and just buy stuff like I know I would probably get the books that are over here and the fruits and vegetables in case I haven't found them yet you can also explore the woods which I will show you in a moment or and <laughs> read campfire information and it will give you some useful information like while on your adventures watch out for the poison fire leaf plant get too close to this dangerous plant and you might find yourself with a rather nasty case of the itchies <laughs> isn't that cute you can also say take me to the bathroom and it will just have you go over to the rabbit hole bathroom or take me to lodging and that will take you back to the place that you're staying at now downhill from that a little across from that like sign thing is this sort of map over here kind of like a directory if you're in a mall you know <laughs> you want to see where the stores are so you can go to the bathroom from here or back to your place or you can explore the woods which is exactly what I'm going to have my sim do I cut out this whole space of him just walking over there <laughs> you go to Granite Falls Forest it's not the secret area just yet so there are people walking around and people that you can interact with and stuff but look at all of these trees there's so many trees in Granite Falls it's so pretty there's water some more water of course and you might see some birds flying around or critters on the ground and I'll show you some <laughs> pictures and a little video of them towards the end I think I don't know there is a waterfall and a place a little house in the center and I will be showing you the house but for now I just wanted to show you sort of like a bird's eye view of this area and the secret place it's over there you see it that's how you get to the secret place but we'll do that in a moment first I want to show you the house so this is what it looks like it's a pretty small house but it, there's it's decorated with so many things on the inside the very top floor is kind of like this balcony that just overlooks Granite Falls Forest it's so nice and then on the bottom there's a whole bunch of collectibles in there and a Stanley Ranger Jackalope how adorable is Stanley Ranger Jackalope it's just a nice place to like go and relax, hang out with the sims around here, have some fun. There is a bathroom over here. You can use the bathroom, take a shower, tend some lands, but that's fine. <laughs> and then over across behind it, you can see a little bush with a little tiny opening and your sims can go explore it has like these vines hanging down from it and I just really like these different secret places that they're adding into the game it just makes it so much more fun so you can go explore and then you're of course given all of these different types of options I sped it up here because it was taking a while and there are different questions like every time you go but once you get to the one that says exploring the brambles your sims name has navigated the nigh folding foliage to discover a sacred cove in the midst of the forest a cove containing a mysterious sim you can travel towards the sim and then yes say yes to sending them into the deep woods and then you're on your way to the place and sometimes it shows the name of it like you know when you get to a lot and it pops up sometimes it doesn't like for instance it didn't then but if you wanted to go back to Granite Falls you just click on that little bush with the opening just like the one that you explored in order to get to the secret place and then you can go back to granite falls and here is the lovely hermit secret neighborhood there's places where you can't actually go to like down here with the waterfalls and stuff but you could go down there and take screenshots because it's so lovely and then up above that this is the area which you can actually explore and there's a hermit's house right in the center and a lovely another lovely water Waterfall, it's so pretty and a place for your sims to fish so I'm going to show you the hermit's house and then I'll show you the hermit because they're they're pretty cool they're the males and females both have different types of clothes and I just really like the clothes. I wish that somehow you can unlock them and get them in Create a Sim. I'm not sure if that's a thing yet. I added them to my family and it wasn't an option in Create a Sim, but maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> so here on the inside, it's like, it's basically like a house, you know, if someone were living it on their own in the center of a forest, it has all the necessities and stuff that your Sims could ever want or need, I guess. <laughs> and there's some plants that your Sims can harvest and a wood 
working station, I think is what it's called. So the hermit has actually come over, introduced herself to my lovely Sim, and look at her outfit, it's so cool. The Sims are always different, but their clothes are always the same. So here is the male version of the outfit. I don't, they were going to like cloud gaze, and then she was like, no, I don't really want to, bye. <laughs> She's probably not used to human interaction. But now, with this game pack, you can catch bugs. <gasps> so exciting, you can get more collectibles. There are more collectibles, but your Sims can catch the bugs. <laughs> that was pretty adorable and it I mean there's so many different bugs that's how you get beetles in order to like roast the beetles at the campfire which sounds lovely <laughs> so there are 10 plants five fish and 21 herbs so that's just you know there's so many things that your sims can collect now and it would be like a really fun way to just it's sort of like an end game thing you know so your sims they can find these mysterious like a mushroom looking things in the ground and you can identify them or you can eat the unidentified mushrooms so they'll they'll take a piece from it and they'll be like Hmm, what could this be and they will gain the herbalism skill after a while but unfortunately if it's low it'll say they have no idea what plant this is building herbalism skill will help identify plants so there is a new skill herbalism which is great the hermits actually come with them at level 10 and then you might get a bad mood lit uncomfy fungus from eating false moral mushroom who knew eating a mushroom can make one this uncomfortable and as i said the herbalism skill acquired the herbalism skill and nicole acquired the herbalism skill <laughs> <laughs> level one of course so here is my sim that's what it looks like in the ground here is the sim that has reached level 10 of herbalism the hermit and she has identified it it appears to be a false moral mushroom and when you hover over it it'll tell you more about it like the slightly green mushroom can have an adverse effect on a sim's bladder when consumed used in these herbal remedies elixir fertility fungal infusion fertilizer so yeah there are new remedies your sims can make make and this is a screenshot from the sims it's it's not that great quality i had to enlarge it and sharpen it a little but those little jars are filled with remedies they're so adorable there's so many on the walls but yeah there's different remedies for different types of things once you get into the herbalism skill you learn more about it i'll have a link to carl's sims 3 guide on the herbalism skill in the description talk so much about it you can brew herbal remedies by clicking on a stove or a grill and depending on whether you have the ingredients or not depends on which ones you can make and also it depends on your herbalism skill and all of that there's also some new food you can make two dishes that I found I don't know if there are any more than that but there's franken beans and grilled fruit which sounds so good <laughs> for activities between sims you now have group activities you can tell a ghost story and there is a fairy tale and adventure story and a ghost story the subjects of those change like almost every time and for ghost stories you have to tell them after 7 p.m. and a ghost might show up on your lot or like around you but but unfortunately, as I mentioned in the last one, the first part, I haven't had any luck with that, but I'm still going to keep trying. <laughs> you can stargaze with them, cloud gaze with them, and if you have your sims click on themselves, you know, you can go hiking and they can cloud gaze or stargaze by themselves and go back to the lodging and all that stuff. But it's pretty adorable when they cloud gaze and stargaze. There's a new social event called Weenie Roast and it costs 100 simoleons to throw this party and it says get together with your camping buddies and enjoy a night of eating and conversation by the fire gold level reward includes a rustic chess table in granite falls you might see some new birds and and creatures so here is like a woodpecker i don't know if they have any animation i was like watching that thing for a while and it didn't move so i don't know but there is a squirrel and they just like run across the ground really quickly look at how adorable it is your sims also get a whole bunch of new moodlets with the different activities and stuff from roasting things at the campfire to stargazing and hiking and there's just there's so so many of them it's pretty great your sims like cannot be in a bad mood unless they eat a bad thing or like get poison ivy or something <laughs> so yeah that is it for this video all the links will be in the description that i mentioned carl sims for guide for the herbalism skill there's a lot of information on that it is so detailed and where you can get this game pack on origin also the patch notes and a link to the first video going over hair clothing objects and rooms so yeah that is it i hope you enjoyed this i hope you're all having a great day or night wherever you are in the world and i will talk to you all 
later. Bye, everyone.